Hello there everyone, Oversoul and Mufasa here, coming at you with a little update video. So I just wanted to let you guys know that last night I had a little bit of an accident. Um, I was in my basement, I was moving some stuff around, and I was getting ready to go upstairs, and I started walking upstairs, and we have some pretty steep, kind of slippery wooden stairs down there in our basement. I mean... If you guys have ever seen my basement, which some of you have, and some of you haven't, you'll know what I'm talking about. But anyways, um, so anyways, on my way up from the basement last night, something happened. But what happened? I'm not entirely sure. Because the next thing I, one minute, I'm on my basement stairs, and the next minute, I'm sitting in my dining room, holding a wet, bloody rag to my head. So here's what happened, being able to piece everything together. When walking up the basement stairs, I must have tripped and fallen. Or, because yesterday, you guys know how I used to donate plasma, I had to take a break for a while because I had that tooth pulled and everything and we were waiting on some medical documents. Well, I was finally able to go donate again for the first time in four months. Yeah, not yes, yeah, yesterday. Yesterday, if you're watching this video on the day it was uploaded, then yes, yesterday. Um, because this is Thursday, yesterday was Wednesday, everything I'm telling you about it all happened last night. But anyways, yesterday, for the first time in a while, I went to go donate plasma again. And, um, you know, donating plasma requires them to draw a lot of blood out of you, separate the plasma from it, and then put the blood back in. And it can be very draining. And if you don't, uh, have a, a, a responsible diet, which I admittedly don't, I, I don't eat and, I don't eat and drink very well, like, like I should, you know, like, I mean, I do eat healthy stuff, I don't eat exclusively junk crap, but I might eat just a little too much junk crap, <laughs> but anyways, um, so anyways, um, point being, I fell, now, let me show you really quickly what our basement looks like, for those of you who don't know, because this could, this will just point out to you how easy it is, okay, so, our basement has concrete floor and brick wall and that's all around that's you know so it's not a very friendly open basement i was down here you know messing with this shit because we're still looking to move eventually and these are the culprit stairs that i might have slipped on as you can see they are not the uh most reliable well quite frankly really it's it's better if you see from the top exactly how steep it is. Uh, you know what? I just do not have the best lighting for this. But anyways, the point is, it's, it's a dangerous basement. <laughs> um, but I've gone up and down those stairs so many times and I've never hurt myself. So the plasma donation thing could have maybe been a part of it. You know? Because I was starting to feel kind of nauseous. When we got, when uh, I was on my way home from donating plasma. And so that could very well have been a contributing factor. But anyways, all of that, how it happened, that's not the important part. Let me finish my story. So, so I'm in the basement, I'm walking up the stairs, I'm getting ready to go upstairs. And like I said, next thing I knew, I'm in the dining room here sitting at this table holding a wet rag on my head. So, what happened is, I'm, I, I fell and hit my head most obviously, that's the thing. Now, everything after that comes in brief flashes, but I do remember some things. I remember, I remember doing one of these numbers where I was like, and then I like touched the back of my head because it didn't feel right, and I look at my hand and there's blood all over that son of a bitch. So, I think what happened was my subconscious, you know how all humans have like that, that primal survival instinct like deep down inside that like gives you that adrenaline boost or like, you know, makes you able to do things you normally couldn't, like how people can like lift cars and shit in those like life-threatening moments. Um, I think what happened was my subconscious kicked into autopilot because my body realized that I was in danger and my subconscious carried me through everything like somewhere in the back of my mind I was like head bleeding need wet rag you know I put those together 
You know, it was just like, you know, it wasn't like I actually like thought about it, but it was the very, very primal, like one plus one equals two, you know, survival instinct. So somehow with, n with no memory of doing any of it, I managed to make my way upstairs into the bathroom, put warm water on a rag and put that rag on my head. And the only parts of it I actually remember are blood on my hand and the bathroom sink. I do remember the bathroom sink a little bit. But then I came out here, and when I was sitting down, apparently I explained to Steph what happened, and then couldn't remember explaining to her what happened, and then I just stared confused at my computer screen for like 15 minutes. Then I went to go lay down, and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, this isn't right. If I have a concussion, I probably shouldn't be laying down. <laughs> so I looked on my phone, I looked for all the symptoms, and I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, nausea, confusion, amnesia, that sounds about right. And I was like, well, I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> because everything says it's like... It's like, if you even think you might have a concussion, go to the hospital, because even if, if it's a minor concussion, that's, it, it's fine. It's the kind of thing that you'll sleep off, you know, after a couple of days, but it can sometimes cause more serious damage inside, and you want to go and make sure that there's no skull fractures or internal bleeding or any of that, but I had an EKG, I had a, a brain scan and all that, and everything is fine. They said it's just a regular, normal-ass a uh, minor concussion. So, everything is cool. I'm actually feeling pretty good today. I still have a headache. Oh, and by the way, with the nausea, I actually managed to hold back vomiting the whole time until we actually finally got to the hospital. No sooner did we pull into the hospital parking lot, and as soon as we parked, literally the very second the car stopped, bleh, that's when it came out. Just bleh. So, anyways, so I hit all of the concussion signs, amnesia, confusion, vomiting, nausea, dizziness, all of it. So we knew that's what it was, but had to go to the hospital to make sure. Um, but uh, as time progressed, I started to feel a little bit better and better because that's how concussions work. Doctors don't have some kind of magic concussion fix. They don't snap your fingers and suddenly, yay, no concussion. Concussions are one of those things that time is the only cure. Time and pain meds. <laughs> so... You just have to give your brain time to heal. So they actually say because of that, you're actually not supposed to do things that require too much thought or focus or anything like that. You know, things that you really have to like, that you really have to like, yeah. and you know, let's plays require a lot of thought and focus and stuff. So, um... We should be good with the YouTube schedule. Um, like I said, this break, I'm, 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 I am personally taking a little bit of a break, but it shouldn't last very long, and it actually shouldn't affect anything on your end, because the way that I record everything now, um, there should be stuff already pre-recorded and ready to go, you know, ready to go. <laughs> but I might have to move some things around. Because I um, admittedly haven't actually had the chance to record the last uh, couple episodes of Past Cure yet. So I actually don't have any content for that game for next, uh, next week. So, um, you will be getting another Bioshock 2 tomorrow. That's already edited and ready to go, so don't worry about that. But as far as next week, um, next week I might have to shuffle things around. Ooh, I'm so sorry. I almost dropped my phone. Next week, I might have to shuffle some things around and put out this, um, this, the, a couple of these guest Let's Plays I've been doing. I recorded another episode of Bloodborne with Funky Hurdles and my brother, who now goes by Inky Lumberjack, by the way. Uh, the names just keep changing. And, um, I also recorded an episode of The Duck Game with Ossifer Decon. So those might be what comes out tomorrow. Those might, or not tomorrow, next week. Those might be what we do next week instead of the next couple episodes of Past Cure. And then the week after that, we will finish up Past Cure, hopefully, or get closer to finishing it, whatever the case may be. Um, that just might... I'm not 100% sure, and honestly, it all depends on how I feel by the time the weekend rolls around, you know. The weekend comes around, Saturday, Sunday, I'm starting to feel up to it. You know, I might uh, be back into the swing of things, but... They told me for a few days to a week to keep it easy and not do a whole lot of strenuous activity or anything that requires too much brain power. So, you know, 
Uh, one of three things is going to happen next week. Either there's going to be the next two episodes of Past Cure, or a couple of guest Let's Plays, or nothing at all. It's going to be one of those three things. It just really depends on how I'm feeling by the time the weekend rolls around. So I wanted to let you guys know that because of this whole thing with the concussion, next week's upload schedule might be a little screwy. So if 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 there even is an upload at all. However, if I decide to not upload anything next week, I will do a video on Monday telling you that. I won't leave you high and dry hanging and wondering. So don't worry about that. <laughs> Anyways... That's all I had. Just this little update video. Thanks for bearing with me as I explain all this stuff. And uh, thanks for tolerating me walking around the house and doing the... I can't really do a lot today because of, you know, this. You know, I... So I'm actually kind of bored. I've just been kind of sitting here catching up on shows. And when I'm bored, I tend to pace the house. <laughs> so, something I do. I'll pace holes in the floor. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go before I keep rambling. So, there's your update. Don't worry about me, though. I'm fine. Thank you for your continued support. And as always, I will catch you possibly in another day, definitely another time, and likely another video. Yes. Okay, goodbye.